Hello everyone, welcome to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Glenorin here. Just letting you know these strange things. I uh, had left him parked in Frostbluff here over at the Yule Festival. I had not moved him, had not played him since the Yule Festival ended in, uh, oh, what, the second week of January. I've been just logging on, getting his getting his uh, Hobbit presents and stuff like that, paying for the kinship house and all. And uh, I had logged into him today to see about moving him on out and had the strangest thing of my life. I even had to look at the calendar here and go, am I hallucinating? No, it is February 1st. Uh, the Yule Fest is back on. Started this weekend and runs through February 10th. Apparently they're having a Yule Fest Mark II. Um, from what I understand with the server moves and them changing hardware moving to a new server farm and all that the last few days of the Yule Festival got kind of screwed up so they've decided to bring it back for a couple of weeks it will go on for the next uh, nine days I think they said through February 10th so the Yule Fest is back on and uh, if you still got to work on getting some it's always as all as all the festivals it's a great way to get free experience uh, get some uh, if you haven't gotten the the uh, deeds you wanted to collect if you haven't got the um, cosmetic items of the horses or anything jump back in here and get it to it again or just come and enjoy the city it is one of my favorite towns to visit I absolutely love I wish it were available just to travel to year-round even without anything in it just because it's such a nice beautiful peaceful town you know here in the mountains with the snow coming down We've got a few places like this, but they're all dwarven. If you're looking at the Blue Mountains, or there, those frozen lands of Florakel to the north, you know we need a place like this in regular Middle Earth, just a a normal human Bree Town type place where you can just come and chillax and just uh, just enjoy the snow falling down. So to uh, let you know that was going on, Yule Fest Mark II which will be going on until the 10th of February, so for today and the next nine days. In the meantime, we're going to jump back to Narlo, and we are going to go and see how we fare with the third part of the Drums in the Deep mission as we take on the Battle of the 21st Hall. So we will see you there in just a few seconds. Hello everyone, we are back here with Narlo. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. We have left Yule, the uh, Yule Bluff, Winter Bluff, and uh, Frost Bluff, and the Yule Festival, and whatever all that area over there is in the snow all behind. Came back over here to the 21st Hall. We have to talk to Willie and defend the 21st Hall. That's the one that we have to defend for the third part of Drums of the Deep. I can tell you right now, the hardest part has been finding Willie. As you see right over there is the Chamber of uh, Leadership. Right there is the entrance to the, the uh, road that runs parallel to the Great Hall of Durin. Back over here, right up there is where you go up to the Chamber of Records. Back over there is the Stable Master and all the shops and everything of, of the 21st Hall. And of course, Willie is way over here buried over here behind hiding behind this giant column so of course he was kind of difficult to find here but we are going to talk to him now that we've gotten the difficult part out of the way and let's see what he has to say we will make our stand here long may we fight against our enemies it comes down to this narlo if we lose the 21st hall we lose moria the orcs will strike soon and the stroke will be hard and fast we cannot fall here, or we shall not find our footing again. If we must, we will retreat from the forward barricades. Better to lose some ground than to lose good dwarves. All right, so once again, the skirmish and all that we have to take care of. And once it's complete, we will move on out probably of Chapter 5. I'd imagine that we finish this uh finish this skirmish and then we'll probably have to go over there to the uh, chamber of leadership once more talk to uh, to uh, broger and them 
and get our reward for completing the drums in the deep chapter but for right now we are going to pull up and get ready with uh get ready with the skirmish oh, wrong one get ready with the skirmish of the battle of the 21st fall and we will see you as we get that started In the aftermath of the raid upon Zabad Gothel, Marzog sets his strength against Durin's folk, assaulting many key encampments. If the 21st Hall falls, then the advantage falls to Marzog's orcs. Hail, dwarves of the Iron Garrison, war is upon us. The orcs of Mazog, son of Bol, the mass to attack. If we should fail to defend this hall, our expedition will be for naught. The Iron Garrison will be driven forth, and it will be long ere we may return again. Go now and fortify the entrances to the 21st Hall. It is there where we must hold the enemy at bay. Be nice if he wouldn't have started his speech until after Galadriel finished talking, but what can you expect? All right, we're going to go ahead and pull our soldier up. And there she is. I told you we were going to switch to a... Uh, Switch to a hobbit lass for our archer, and I did get around to doing that. I spent the points to uh, get the lass and to give her red hair. I may do some more cosmetic changes and stuff in the future, but uh, so far that right there has got me uh, got me happy with the way she's turned out so far. Okay, keep forgetting that she always hops in behind me. All right, let's talk to Willie, and let's get this fight going, shall we? Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazan! Push back the first assault, and Willie must survive the assault. Our defenses are in order. Now I must tell you the role you are to play in the upcoming battle. I would ask that you would defend the barricades as they come under assault, and assure they stand. To that end, do not forget to unfurl the banners again. Do not use them lightly. As they always get spent, we've heard all this before. Warning sound from the east. Okay, so it looks like our first battle will be coming this way. The eastern barricade. That's the dwarf sentry. Post was overrun. We have to hold the enemy here. Okay. Goblin Sapper. Where's the Goblin Sapper? There's the Sapper. Let's go take him out. Alright, he's down. That was the most important part because he will blow up the barricade if he can get a hold of it. Lieutenant of the enemy has joined the battle. As long as there's not a sapper, I don't care too much. Why are you attacking the barricade? Attack me. That's who you need to be attacking. Sentry's all right. You know, he's an archer too, so he's allowed to shoot at a range as well. Hey, you quit hitting on my little hobbit girl. I will mess you up. Okay. Sentry's okay. Archer is doing fine. Keep knocking him down here. He 
is nice to have a big sister there beating on everybody. Uh-oh, another sapper. Down he goes. Nice, got two archers backing me up here. And doing a heck of a good job at it. We are playing this at the full level 63. All right, first has been defeated. Turn to Willie for instructions. Okay, we are going to try and remember to loot the boss monster this time around. I have failed it twice now because I keep... Victory keep is ours this day! Another Baruch advance Kazan! guard. Another advance guard. And remember the second assault. All right, from the south. Because I keep forgetting the whole uh, auto... The whole auto loot has got me spoiled. And I keep forgetting that uh, I do actually have to to loot the, the... Where's the sapper? Which way is it coming from? I do forget that I have to actually loot the sapper. Because of that. There, good. Sapper's down. Thought I had a button that told my soldier to attack my target, but apparently. I'm not sure where that one is right now. Those were the only two buttons, the only two commands that you really had for your soldiers. One is to summon them. And the other one is to uh, tell him to attack us, attack whoever you got targeted on. Let's just keep an eye on our hit points here. I've been doing pretty good at that so far. I need to remember to eat some uh, cram when I get the chance too. All right, let's back out of the fight. Let's back out of the fight. Let them get a few hits on their back there. There. All right, before the battle starts again, let's eat a cram. Very good, okay. Get the hip punch coming back up on us there. Get that health regen going. These won't be so bad since we haven't got a lieutenant to fight. Unfortunately, there's a lieutenant. Alrighty. Too worried about the lieutenant. Let's get that sapper. Really need to take him down. Let's take him down. Let's take him down. Come on, come on, come on. Get him down before he gets to the barricade. Get him down before he gets to the barricade. Come on. There he goes. Up, 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 up. Yep, oh, they got me. Okay, let's uh, retreat. And then we will join back into the fight. It's going to be where? To the south? Uh-oh, headed the wrong direction. South Barricade is over this way. Not too worried. And the 
dwarf warrior is still alive. Okay, let's pull our archer back up. Let's see if we can get over here and uh, discourage them. Okay. Enemy scout has been sighted beyond the southern barricade. So he'll be back over that way somewhere. Looks like Willie. Hopefully no more attacks will occur until we've talked to Willie. So let's go see if we can take out that scout. Where is he? Enemy scout beyond the south barricades. I'm gonna be over here. This looks like a suspicious area, doesn't it? Wow, why is there a cave in here at the south door? Oh, there he is. Quit running away. Fortunately, all we have to do is keep him occupied. We got that archer to keep get the DPS on him. Oh, we just put the, uh, grab his attention. Okay, he should be finished up here in just a second. There he goes. See, and I'm used to, I'm not used to having to loot things, and I don't have to loot those, so it has really got me. Really got me spoiled here. Remember to loot the boss man. Remember to loot the boss man. All right, we made it through two rounds now, two assaults. Next one may be more personally attached toward uh, Willie here. Come on, dear, you can do it. Victory is ours this day! Again. Baruch Kazad! Well done, Narlo. I fear, however, that the orcs will not so easily give up their assault. Look, there's another of the guards. Hurry to the Western Bulwark. Can do. Let us go ahead. When we died, we lost our our food. There we go. We got another goblin sapper coming. Let's see where he is. Any of them can get around and be banging on our backside. I would rather have not anybody bang on my backside except for Mrs. Narda. And then only if she asks nicely. Lieutenant of the enemy has joined the battle. Whoa! Good grief. Okay. Let's get on back this way a little bit. I'll let them hopefully. I don't think I have any healing potions here. I don't. All right, let's retreat again and then rush back into the battle. Get my archer up. It looks like the lieutenant's down. Maybe. I don't see him. Oh, we're gonna have a repair bill when this is done, let me tell you. Good job, dwarf archer. Good, we don't have any sappers or anything that we have to take out. This is going better. I do remember whenever I had this fight before that uh, 
I did have the difficulty with my dwarf that I think I lost every barricade. They were able to penetrate through the uh, defenses, get those sappers up there, and take them out. Another sapper headed for the barricades. Okay. Probably should have actually bought some uh, healing potions. I will stop you, and I have. Okay. All right, third assault down. Surprise, we haven't had anything break so far. So far, we've just got a. Uh, unfortunately, one of our weapons is damaged. It's a shame I don't have anybody I can repair with. That would have been nice. I can't really afford to die again. Alright, are we good? We're good. Let us eat another cram. And then let's get one of these. We really need to get some of these uh, health potions up there, don't we? Unfortunately, all the instant ones that we have with everything are... Uh, 650, 750. Let's get this one down here. Yeah, that's as good as any. None of the others will recharge before that one does, so. Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazan! Narlo, word comes from the northern hallway that the enemy is preparing for an assault there. We must go at once. What remains of the advance guard must deal with any further assaults against the 21st Hall proper. So we're going to follow Willy to the chamber of Mazar Bull. Hurry now, Narlo. The orcs are preparing to attack. Follow me. We'll get going. I got this food counting down here. I've only got another four minutes left on it. I am going to go ahead and I am going to pull that up onto our bar as well so that if I get killed or uh, something happens, if it wears off and I get a chance to eat some more, I will eat some more right quick. So we're going to make our last stand in Marzar the chamber of Mazarbul like the dwarves did, eh? I don't think that's a particularly good idea. If you want to know the truth. I might actually use one of the banners this time. We will have to see. All right, Willie. Let's go ahead and talk Victory to him. Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazan! I will complete preparations here, Narlo. If the hallway falls, this chamber will be our final hope for waiting out this siege. Hark, do you hear the horns? They come even now. Prepare yourself. Defend the northern hallway. Oh, from the south end of the northern hallway. Damn it. Is that this way? Which way is it? Ah, where that guy's shooting. Really interested in determining how they think this is the northern hallway here. This is not the northern hallway. This is out of the 21st hall again. Still at the north end of the northern hallway. Food's still cooking. Food is still cooking. Another minute and 45 seconds. We still have food. Oh, the north end. Damn it! 
Oh. A lieutenant of the enemy has joined. Hate this crap. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get up there and help this guy. Hold on, good dwarf. these guys. South end of the northern hallway. It's gonna be back down the other way again. Well, at least I'm not going to have to worry about hitting the gym once this is over with. I think I will have all my exercise and my running out of the way. You just keep doing what you're doing in there, Willie. Don't worry about the barricades out here, man. We got this. Doing just fine, you know. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. It's not like the whole fate of the expedition is uh, dependent on this, you know. North end of the north hallway. Oh, why, why could I not have guessed that? All right, while well, we are running, eating another cram, which apparently you can't eat while you're running. Haven't these people ever heard of fast food before? Fortunately, that dwarf is pretty good. He should be able to hold them off for a while. He held them off for quite a bit longer than this a few minutes ago, and there's the wife. I don't know what the hell this puppy is. A shadow of the heart of the world, apparently. Definitely one of those probably nameless things from deep under the earth, you know, like the Balrog and all the rest. That other battle went by pretty quickly. This guy doesn't look like he's going to take too terribly long to take down. And once we get him out of the way... We can see about uh, talking to Willie and finishing up the battle here. 
Hey, quit beating on my archer. And I are going out for pudding later. Leave her alone. Boy, he is quite an ugly one. Yeah, it's always wondered. I've wondered. There we go. The shadow from the heart of the world. I've always wondered about that, you know, with like the Yule thing. It's like, is that a unique, is that a unique model? Because I've never seen that model anywhere else. Is it a unique model just made for this instance? It's kind of like the Krampus Beast over there at the Yule Fest, you know. I've never seen the Krampus Beast before. Other than in that one instance. So it's like, where the hell, you know, they spent that much effort just making the Krampus. Interesting. All right. Let's talk to Willie. This is probably the final assault. So we will take him on. What do we got left? About a minute. Let's go ahead and eat another cram. Oh, well. Can't do that, can we? Did we lose our archer? No, there she is. All right, let's talk to Willie. Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazan! The outlook is foul, Narlo. Did y'all not even pick the poor dwarf up and go bury him anyway? Good lord. The outlook is foul, Narlo. This horde seems endless, and we are all that remains here. Prepare yourself, for this may well be our final stand. Is that Ori? I think that's what Ori or Dory there, wasn't it? Push back the final assault and defeat the commander. Willie must survive. Well, it should be easier since Willie will actually be fighting in this one. Enemy approaches. For better or ill, the end is nigh. Well, there we go, the general of the enemy. And we are going to remember to loot him this time. Bot-sham. And he is going down very quickly. And I knew there went my food. I've lost it. There we go. You have defended against the final assault. You should return to Willie. Ah, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Let's get our silver coins and our bounty. There. Now no one will keep yelling at me. All right, Willie. Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazad! Baruch Kazad! Well done, Narlo. I fear, however, that our victory here is short-lived. The orcs seem nearly endless in number. This expedition is doomed to failure, I believe. It will be years before we are strong enough to cleanse these halls. Ah, well, this is not the time for fear nor grief. You have defended this hall for the day. Hey, fantastic. Wasn't that bad. Let us return to the 21st hall and begin repairs. Had we been a little bit more prepared with, like, some healing potions and stuff, it would have been very, very easy completing that one. Victory is ours this day! Baruch Kazan! We owe you more gratitude that can be expressed in words or salutations. The 21st Hall still stands, and my folk remain upright to cleanse the filth that infested these slumbering halls. What a day this has been. From retreat and dishonor springs glory and triumph. Let Mazog cower before the dwarves of Kazag Doom. All right, once again, let's see. Block, healing, in combat morale. We'll go ahead and pick this one. But once again, it's going to be turned, it's going to be uh, melded into a higher level. Now, we need to go to the Chamber of the Crossroads and talk to Bozy. And that is what we will do. We will go right over here first, uh, cash in our loot, do some repair work, and then we will catch a goat over to talk to Bozy. And we will see y'all again in just a couple of minutes. We've arrived back at the chamber. We need to talk to Bozy over here first. We will look at our mail. We had a deed bestowed. Defeat Deathmongers and Skirmishes. We've done one of five. Okay. And then our next one is... Uh, just upkeep and that sort of thing. All right. 
I have another? Oh, legendary item leveled up. I knew there was something. We else. have weathered this storm, but I fear it may not be over. All right, you have left me speechless, Narlo. With your help, we live to fight another day. But what if the orcs return, as they surely will? We cannot stand against them forever. They are simply too numerous. Let's see what we have here. We've got light armor. We have medium armor. We have heavy armor. And we have medium armor. Let's take a look at this. Might, agility, vitality. These are actually better than my Matham Hunters, aren't they? 58 might, 23 agility. 58 might, 27 vitality. Power and mastery. Vitality, 10% reflect. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Bori's assault upon Marzog's fortress ended in tragedy, with most of the dwarves slain and Bori himself taken captive, as well as Ziegelberg. The dwarves elsewhere in Moria repelled, though barely, the retaliation of the orcs against them. But another attack could spell doom for Durin's folk. There we are, as we keep saying, I do just do not believe it is time for the dwarves to retake Moria yet. We cannot stand alone. We must seek new allies. Okay. Book 6, Chapter 1, Desperate Times. We have withstood the initial attacks of the orcs, but for how long will our good luck last? Not long enough, I fear. The orcs are simply too numerous, and with the support of Dol Gudur, Mazog can surely wage his war long enough to return our, overturn our defenses. We must seek help of our own. Through the friendship of the dwarves with the elves of the Golden Wood has suffered strain over the long years. It has never, I hope, been truly abandoned. We need their assistance now more than ever, or we are lost. We must seek the aid of the Lady Gladriel. We dwarves know little of her, but it is said she wields some great power. Some say she is fell and perilous, others that she is kind. In this dire time, I would risk an audience with her, though I am afraid. Speak with one of the wardens at the bounds of Lothlorien, and ask to speak with the Lady of the Wood, Narlo. Who better than you? You are an elf friend and a dwarf friend both. I understand that there may be great platforms among the trees across the river called Nimrodale, southeast of the Dimrodale. Dale. You may find wardens of Lothlorien upon them. So we need to go to the river Nimrodale, down on the, the edge of Lothlorien, and find Haldir and speak to him. Gonna be a little bit uh, bittersweet, being that I came from the server Nimrodale, which of course doesn't exist anymore. So we may take need to take a few minutes to reflect once we get there. But there we go. We will be starting up book six, chapter one, the next time we are together with y'all. So we are gonna spend the rest of our time sitting here smoking with Mr. Bosey. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. That actually went a good deal better than I thought it was going to. Even with the two deaths, I was expecting it to be a bit more hazardous than that. Uh, we will see you next time. Remember that the Yule Fest is going on for the next ten days or nine days. Go and enjoy that if you want to. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.